living in a foreign country all alone and building a business is daunting. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I stay positive, focused, and at the top of my game while doing that. Now, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so that each time I upload a video about living in France, moving abroad, or finding the confidence and courage to live life on your terms, you will be notified. My name is Patricia Brooks, and in 2018, I quit my job and I moved to the south of France. And back then, I didn't recognize it as being a sabbatical, but that's exactly what it was. It was about a two, two and a half year sabbatical where I was figuring out what my next professional step would be. And I found it. And I decided I was going to coach women who wanted to move abroad but lack the confidence and courage to do so, find that confidence and take that leap. And I absolutely love what I do. And as a recovering type A personality type, someone who is ambitious, hard driving, a little bit perfectionistic and a bit impatient too, to not get pulled into what seems to not be working and force myself to work harder to make it happen faster. And so in this video, I'm going to share with you a couple of things I do to, to stay positive. Now I'm going to take you along on a hike I did recently, um, exercising one of these tips that I'm going to give you right now. So uh, come along for the walk with me. Now, I am taking this particular route for the very first time. I walk by this trail every single day <laughs> because normally I will um, take my 45 minute walk the same way and I will get to a certain point and then turn left down the trail instead of turning right going up the trail. Part of the reason is because I know exactly how much time my normal walk will take. Well, on this day, I decided to do something new. And I decided to go turn right and go up the path instead of turning left and going down the path because of a book I am reading. It's called Dix Minutes Par Jour, and it's by an Italian author. And I'll put a name, um, the name of the book and her um, name in the description. And in the book, the main character uh, is having a crisis in her life. Her husband has left her, she has lost her job, um, and she's got writer's block. She's got a book to write, but she's got writer's block. And so her therapist says to her, after I don't know how many months of therapy, well, do you wanna play a game? Why not try doing something uh, you have never done before for just 10 minutes a day? And so she decides she's gonna play the game. And so the book takes you day by day uh, on the, th the things she does for 10 minutes a day. And in the process, she starts to learn a lot about herself, about life, and sees new perspectives. So I decided I was going to take a right turn instead of a left turn. And this is what I found, this lovely, lovely trail with this uh, stream, this mountain stream that just sounds amazing. It's just so peaceful and, and tranquil to me. And I you know, have this um, love affair with waterfalls and streams, and I, I can't help to think that it's partially related to my last name, Brooks, um, that the, the water really speaks to me. So that is one thing that I am starting to incorporate into my life, doing something I have never done each day. Now, I haven't gotten to the point where I'm doing it each day, but I am doing it at least one time a week. And that helps to get me out of a rut or a routine that works for me, but then also helps to reduce uh, my creativity and um, makes life feel a little bit stale. Another thing that is really helpful to me is to recognize my daily and weekly wins. Now, as an entrepreneur, I can get pulled down into the weeds of trying to find clients, to um, do everything that is required of, of me in my business, the administrative tasks, the videos, 
uh, the editing, everything that's required. And I can get pulled in and feel like I'm doing a lot, but feel like I'm not. <laughs> and that at the end of the day, I feel like sometimes, oh, what have I gotten done? What have I accomplished? Well, this daily wins is a way to pull back and recognize uh, things that are going well for you, whether or not it's directly related to the project that you're working on. So last week I had four wins that I uh, wrote down and reflected on and it really brought me to a place of um, inner peace. It made me feel good, which is something also I've learned uh, about reaching your goals is when you feel better about yourself, um, things seem to flow a little bit more easily. You can work in flow and not necessarily push so hard, but allow things to come to you. So I wanted to share with you the four wins I had this past week. Now, the first one was I found pickles here in France. Now, I don't know why it, over the course of four years I have not seen pickles here, but I absolutely love dill pickles. And in the United States, there's a brand called Clawson Pickles, and they are fabulous. <laughs> And around Thanksgiving, I was thinking, oh, I really have a taste for pickles. And I didn't see any in, in the stores. And I thought, oh, maybe I just need to learn how to pickle cucumbers and make them myself. That seems like it might be a little bit hard. But this week in the supermarket, guess what I found? I found pickles. Now, I did a video about um, the thing that struck me most when I first came to France, and that was that <laughs> many, many, many things here seem to be smaller than they are in the United States. Well, that goes for the pickles too, these little cornichons. They're so cute, they're really tiny, um, but they are delicious. And I, when I was in the store, I had to read the label because I really like the dill pickles, the savory kinds of pickles, not the bread and butter sweet pickles. So I had to read the label to make sure there was no sugar in it. And I found some that uh, were the savory kind. I brought them home. I cracked that bottle open and uh, they were yummy. And so that just made me feel great. That, oh, I found these, I found these cornichons that for whatever reason I hadn't found until now. So that was a great win. Another win for me last week was that I received uh, these erasers in the mail. Now you might say erasers. A few months ago, I started using pencils to uh, chart out my week. And I wanted to be able to erase if somebody uh, postponed or changed the date of an appointment. And so pencils are great for that. And I found these really, really nice pencils at the office supply store near me. And so I picked up a couple. And while I was there, I was looking for erasers because these pencils didn't have erasers at the, at, at the tip. And I found like 10 different kinds of erasers, standalone erasers, but none that you could put on the tip of a pencil. So that was the office supply store, nothing there. I went to Le Tabac and once again, there were eight or 10 different kinds of erasers, but none that you put on the tip of a pencil. It's like, what, why can't I find this, this thing that seems to be a staple in the United States? Finally, I went to this print shop that's in town and they didn't have any either. So I thought, I don't get it. I, I, I don't get it. The standalone erasers are great and I bought one because they do work, right? They take the lead off of the page easily. But the problem with those is that in order for you to use them, you have to be able to find them. And so if I've got my pencil one place and this eraser someplace else, um, when I need it, uh, that can be a little frustrating. So on Amazon, I found these erasers you can put on the tips of your pencils. And I ordered a pack of 25 of them and they came in the mail this week. And so that was another win, right? These things aren't re directly related to building my business but they make me feel good. And when I feel good, I, um, I feel more productive. I feel happier, things flow to me. I have new ideas that lead me down a good path, All right? So that's the second thing. 
The third win was all of the rain that we have been having over the last couple of weeks. We've had probably about 10 days of rain and some of these days have been torrential rains. And I used to hate rain, but I don't mind rain so much, but 10 days of rain straight with no sun uh, really started to wear on me about day eight or nine, which is really saying something. And the reason that I uh, don't mind the rain so much anymore is because they replenish my waterfalls. Like I said in the beginning, I have something about waterfalls and brooks and streams um, that really kind of feed my soul. And so with all that rain, there is this big waterfall at the side of one mountain I can see from my balcony. There's another waterfall that's five minutes from my apartment that I visit every day on my daily walk. And it just, ah, it just feeds my soul. It's amazing. So that was another win for the week. And then the final win was the book, 10 Minutes Par Jour, because had I not picked up this book at the library and started to read it and decide to do something new on Sunday when I took this, when I started taking this hike, I would not have turned right and gone up the mountain. I would have gone down my normal way and it would have been the same old, same old and I would not have gotten to see this amazing trail that's 10 minutes from my house, right? And while I didn't have um, half a day to spend going to the end of the trail. Um, I do anticipate doing that, carving out a half a day to do that, maybe pack a picnic lunch, get to the end of the trail, eat my lunch, and then head on back down the mountain. So that, that book was an inspiration. It helped me to see another way to get out of uh, routine and rut in my life and help me be a little more creative. So what do you think about writing down three things every day that you are happy about or are proud of? How do you think that could change how you see your life going? You know, let me know in the comments. I think it's a really beneficial tool because we can get so caught up in doing, doing, doing and not taking stock and recognizing all that we have done, even when it doesn't seem to be getting us to where we want to be fast enough, right? So uh, those are two things that help me stay positive, focused, and on top of my game. Now, if you're interested in learning more about my story, why I'm in France, uh, you can check out this video here. Be sure to like this video, uh, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.